when the parts are functioning harmoniously with each other, all the different parts of the body are functioning in harmony, they're sort of dancing together, then what we experience is a state of health. And, and this is often experienced as kind of state of grace, but it's also related to a condition of what physicists call least effort. So we have the condition of least effort, maximum grace. And this is what nature is doing all the time. It's finding paths of least effort. You think of, you know, uh, a delta, a river delta, and all the different tributaries that come down the river delta. They are actually expressing a principle of least effort. And it's also the veins in the leaves of, um, of a tree. They are actually expressing a principle of uh, maximal efficiency and least effort for distribution of the water to all different parts. And that's the same with our uh, circulatory system. We have the same type of structure that we have in, in the leaf of the tree. It's called a fractal structure. And it's max maximally efficient at distributing fluids to any volume or surface. So all of these are expressing this principle which in physics is known as a principle of least effort or minimal energy. But at the same time we can recognize that it's a principle of maximum grace, which I'm, I'm it's a word I'm using for beauty. And we can, we can see it in, in, in the leaf we just recognize the beauty and symmetry and order because there's a lot of organization in that leaf. If you look at a, a pine cone, then you see the same kind of intricate order. All the different parts are coherently arranged in relation to each other, and there are mathematical relationships that describe these, the Fibonacci series. But this is a, uh, it's expressing a principle of minimal effort with respect to packing these units into this space. So this is what na nature falls into these states of minimal effort, maximum grace, all the time. At the same time as, as nature is doing that, it's actually giving freedom to the parts. And so we have this phenomenon of multiplicity in unity, that all the different leaves Every single leaf on this tree is different from each other. And so if we take any two leaves and look at them, we can find all kinds of differences between them. But we have to look in some detail to see the differences because overall they look similar. But this has five lobes and this has six lobes. And each one of these leaflets actually is different from the other. Different numbers of veins, different uh, angles and so on. And yet generically they look similar. So together they constitute a whole, but each one has a certain freedom of expression. So in these emergent properties, what we see is uh, a coherence that is an expression of maximum freedom to the parts and maximum coherence to the whole. So we have a kind of paradox that each part is free to do as it pleases, but it keeps a certain relationship with the whole. So that overall you've got this property of coherence or health or vitality. And it's very easy to recognize when that is lost. And when the system goes into disease, disorder, disharmony, you, we can feel it, but we can also see it in, in these complex systems. So that's emergence.